So one of the next big tech revolutions that everybody's talking about these days is the notion of the Internet of Things. See, now that we are extending intelligent sensors into everything, into the world of everyday objects, all of a sudden these objects are going to be endowed with agency. They're going to be endowed with the ability to give us feedback. The world is going to become intelligent and responsive and going to anticipate our needs. The world is going to feel like an extension of our mindedness. When everything becomes linked with everything else, as Eric Davis used to say, matter becomes mind. You know, David Rose in his new book, Enchanted Objects, essentially says that we're moving back into a world of animism, where objects have actual agency. They actually have a kind of consciousness and that things almost are enchanted, almost are alive. You know, you walk into a room and the room knows how you like the lighting and the song that you love starts automatically playing and the curtains automatically raise and the computer you know, offers you your favorite snack. I mean, the full flourishing of these technologies promises to essentially blur the distinction between self and world. The entire world will have mind in it. It's how the cognitive philosophers David Chalmers and Andy Clark used to say, we've always been adept at dovetailing our minds to our tools, but when our tools start talking back, the loop will be finished. We will have fully spread our minds out into our universe. This is the Internet of Things. This is why it's a game changer. And this is why it absolutely rattles my imagination. So, you know, read up on it, right? It's coming. <laughs>